Oh, look. Look. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Ditto. It is 10 a.m. And I wanted to check in on Ditto and see how he's doing. He ate all of his food, so he eventually finished the rest of his food. I was looking at the security camera footage and it looked like around um, like 1 or 2 a.m. He went over and he finished it. And then he pretty much spent the rest of the night here on the floor. And that's where he is now. He did get a lot of good sleep because um, the camera, which is motion activated, did not record like a million short clips. Um, it only recorded like every half hour or hour or so. So he definitely got some good sleep. Right, Ditto? Would you like some breakfast? You want to eat some food, Ditto? Ditto, want breakfast? Want food? I'm going to put some food together for him. And I'm hoping to be able to spend some more time in this room today, maybe this afternoon. And I'm hoping to sit on the floor with him. So if he's hanging out here under the day sofa, I want to sit on the floor, not far away from him, and just see how that goes. I really wish I had more time to spend in this room with him over the past week. But this time of year, I am just absolutely slammed with uh, things that need to get done. Unfortunately, I'm not retired and can't just take care of cats all day. And taking care of cats is not my occupation. Um, if it was, they would have a lot more time to spend with Ditto and do things. But I am juggling a lot. And uh, it's a very fine balancing act to get everything done. And... Uh, yeah, most days I don't get everything done just because there's not enough hours in a day. But I also have to keep my health uh, into consideration because it would be very, very easy to burn myself out and just to um, get exhausted just from doing too much. So I can't do that. I just gave Ditto the first half of his breakfast. So this is a scoop of homemade food, a Stella and Chewy's duck duck goose uh, patty mixed together with some homemade chicken broth. And put the dry herbs in there and a little bit of salmon oil and some B vitamins. So if he eats all that, then he'll get more. Ditto, I gave you food. You can go eat. Do you smell it? Eat your food, Ditto. I'm going to shut off the air conditioning because I can feel it blowing on me. And it blows right on the food. So that could be another factor why he didn't want to eat yesterday. He eventually ate when I turned the air off. So I'm going to do that. It's 11.15 a.m. And I just got back from the supermarket and I thought I would give Ditto his food under the day sofa because I saw he didn't eat it. But look, he's not here. Look where he is. He's in his round cat bed. So I think that confirms my suspicions that he doesn't like the air conditioning on and when the air conditioning does go on, he goes into this warm bed because he did that yesterday and he did it again today. So, how you doing Ditto? You okay? Here he is all cozy in this round bed. Ditto, you have some breakfast. You can eat it. He could still uh, be suffering from a bit of a loss of appetite from the, uh, the strong ed dewormer that he got yesterday. They say that it uh, lasts in their system about 24 hours. So... It should be out of his system by now, but sometimes it could take longer. It's usually just like an average number. All right, Ditto, I'll make sure I don't put any air conditioning on anymore, okay? No air conditioning for you. I know you don't like it. It is 1.35 p.m. And I just came inside because it is like 92 degrees out. It is super hot and humid. And I saw that Ditto moved over here, so that proves my theory correct, because there's no air conditioning on in the house right now. And it's only about 80 degrees in this room, so it's actually much cooler inside than outside. And I decided to give Ditto the second half of his breakfast. He did not eat the first half. But this time I mixed in a little bit of canned food. It's a chicken and liver pate mixed in a little bit. 
I just wanted to see if he would eat it. And he went over and he started eating it right away, so that's a good sign. I'm going to go do a few things that I need to do, and then I'll be back here, and hopefully I'll be able to hang out in here with Ditto for a little while. It's 2.22 p.m., and I just brushed Stella and Boo. And Stella has, like, something going on with her fur. Right here, I don't know if you could see it, but, like, right here... It's like there's something stuck in her fur. I got, I mean, I brushed it quite a while. I think I got most of it out. I don't know what it is or how it got there, but I hope she grooms the rest of it out. It's almost like a big knot in her fur or something. Um, if not, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Here's Simba, I was gonna show you how he was laying on the bed because he wants to be brushed next. But I guess he wants to be brushed here. Yeah, that's what he does. Simba. You want to be brushed? You guys haven't been brushed in a few days. I got like three brushfuls off of your mother. Stella's like, don't touch my feet. Simba loves being brushed. How you doing Simba? He's purring. It is 3.15 p.m. and there's Ditto. He's hanging out under the day sofa. I'm gonna go grab the vacuum and vacuum up some of the cat hair because he's been grooming himself since yesterday. Then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna hang out with them, right Ditto? Hey Ditto! I'm going to sit here and play some video games with you. You want to play with me? No? You want to play with a toy? Alright, I'll play with the toy with you first. Now, I just put the air conditioning on, so if you get uncomfortable, you can always go in your round cat bed, okay? Alright, let me get a toy. You want to play? You want to play? Hey, Ditto. Wanna play? You wanna play? Well, I have to say that he's definitely sneezing less than he was before. And I also think he's less congested than he was before because it doesn't sound as congested. Hey, Ditto. Hey, Ditto. You don't want to play? The other cats love it when I put like a wand toy under a little blanket or a quilt like this. I think Ditto doesn't know what to do. No? You don't want to play? No, you're just getting annoyed, Ditto. You say stop. Ditto says stop. Ditto. Ditto, Ditto. Ditto, Ditto. Ooh, elevator butt. Elevator butt. Elevator butt. Want to play with it? Ditto, you want to play? You want to learn how to play? No? You wanna play? Under here?
You gonna get it? You gonna get it? You gonna get the toy? No? No? Okay, how about something else, Ditto? You want this one? It has feathers. No? You don't care about this one? You want the other one again? How about this? You want this? No? You don't want it. You have a lot of toys to play with, Ditto. Yeah. I'll put it here. I'll leave it there under the quilt, okay? Ditto, I'm gonna hang out here with you, okay? We're just gonna hang out. I just plugged in the uh, pet remedy a few minutes ago, so hopefully that'll start working. I fully expect Ditto to go uh, into the round cap bed because I did put the air on. And I just brought a clean towel in here that I'm putting on the floor so I could sit on a clean towel. It is 8.30 p.m. and I just gave Ditto some food. So he's having homemade raw food and I put a little tuna juice in with it and some water and uh, the dry herbs and some salmon oil and B vitamins. I hope he eats it. Here he is now. He's hanging out under the day sofa. I spent a little more than an hour with him today um, just sitting on the floor kind of in front of the day sofa where he's laying behind it. And I gave him a snack so I gave him some shredded chicken and he ate it while I was sitting in front of him. And uh, yeah, I think he's pretty happy. He's pretty content. You want me to give you your food over here, Ditto? But you know, you really got to eat it off your uh, off your tray. You gonna eat it? He should eat it. He likes it. So I gave him fresh water and I scooped out the litter. And I did not notice any worms in the litter. Um, there is a disclaimer on the worming uh, medication to uh, kind of mentally prepare yourself to see potentially live worms um, when uh, you know when they use the litter box but I did not see any I was just watching uh, what he was doing uh, as far as uh, the food coming out of his mouth we have to remember that he does not have many teeth at all and the way that a cat's mouth is shaped um, you know it's easier for food to fall out the sides of it when they're eating you know, it's not like a human mouth um, where we have cheeks on the side. And um, yeah, so right now, as I'm filming this, there's actually a premiere going on of Ditto's first night inside the house when he was in the recovery crate. So that'll give you an idea of how far behind these videos are. Um, they're about three weeks behind, I believe today is. Today is like day 23 or 24. I have to actually go look. I have it written down in a book. So there are about three weeks from the time that I filmed these to the time that I've been posting them. And with the amount of footage I've been filming and just the amount of things I have to do, uh, that might actually end up increasing um, because I've been having a lot of computer problems and these videos are very time consuming to put together. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna let Ditto finish his food. Gonna feed the other cats. Hydrax is waiting for some food, and then I'll be back to give Ditto the second half of his meal. Ditto's on his second plate of food. I don't think I said that I also put some tuna juice into it. I find that's a really good bribe for him uh, to get him to eat. Also, Hydrox is outside eating his second plate of food. He's getting some canned food, but I put the same herbs in his food that Ditto's been getting. And Ditto uh, was by the window watching Hydrox. He was meowing at him too. Um, so I thought that was that was kind of cute. When I went outside to give Hydrox his food, I look up and there's Ditto. So Ditto's very concerned about Hydrox. And I know he'll like going back outside to be with Hydrox. And I know Hydrox misses Ditto also. The two of them are buddies. They're like a team. It'll be interesting to see uh, how Ditto's behavior changes 
uh, when he goes back outside, will he spend more time in the yard? Will he be friendlier to me? Will he come around uh, for meals more often? Is he going to go back to uh, eating dry food out of the feeder and drinking out of dirty water bowls? Like, you know, we'll see what happens. Hydrox is eating his third plate of food. And he sits right next to the plate while I give it to him now, so he's really good with that. And look what's going on here. Hydrox was meowing and Ditto heard him. Ditto's meowing, but we can't hear him because there's too much noise out here and the windows are pretty thick. I just gave Ditto some of the canned food that I gave to Hydrox. I thought he was going to come out and eat. It is really hot in here. It's it's 88 degrees in this room. I'm definitely putting the air conditioning on. I've been waiting for him to finish eating. This is a brush. Okay, I brush you. Hmm? Come on out, ditto. I feel like he's in a playful mood. He likes seeing Hydrox. Seeing Hydrox makes him very happy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So one thing he has not done is he has not um, ever tried to swat at me since he's been inside. Um, he hasn't tried to bite me. Um, he hasn't really hissed at me, but he didn't have a voice. Um, maybe he tried to, but I couldn't hear him. Um, he's been on his most polite behavior. And I still want to brush him. Brush you? Okay. I'll let him eat in peace. It is 11 p.m. The cats just got their crunchies. And I just gave Ditto a churu. You could eat it if you want it. It's a tuna and shrimp churu. And I really just want to observe how he eats it and um, what he's doing. There's a video on right now. Um, with like ducks and geese. I've not uh, heard or seen Ditto sneeze today at all. And he definitely does not sound congested today, which is a good thing. And both of those are symptoms of the stomatitis. So it seems that we're making progress with that. On the churu, I put two drops of rescue remedy, and I also put two drops of the, um, it's a, it's called a three lung tincture, and it really helps with congestion. Um, not that Ditto has any, but it really also heals mucous membranes, so, um, that's why I gave it to him. And, um, what I realized today is that Ditto has had no catnip since he's been in this room. I might try some catnip tomorrow and see how that does as far as like relaxing him and stuff. Um, and the other thing I have not done yet is I have not put like gates in an open door to see how he reacts to the other cats or the other cats react to him. Uh, I was waiting on that because, um, you know, I wanted to get to a point where uh, Ditto was not sneezing and um, there would be no like uh, droplet contamination or anything. Even though if I do put gates in the door, I kind of just expect Ditto to stay under this day sofa. Um, but you never know. So anyway, Ditto, here's your squeeze up. I'm moving it out here so you could finish it near the rug so you don't have to keep pushing it all over, okay? I want you to have a good night, Ditto, okay? You have a good night, because I'm going to go to bed. I'm really tired. It's been a very long day, okay? All right, Ditto, you hang out. 
Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.